Do you struggle with abuse in your family? It's a really hard question to answer. No one wants to think their parents are abusive, but many parents are. Hundreds of thousands of kids around the world struggle with familial abuse every year. And the problem is, most kids don't know what abuse actually looks like. To help you understand the markers of emotional and physical abuse, here are eight signs that your parents are not treating you the way they should. And before we begin, we wanna make a disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only. If you relate to any of these signs on this list, please reach out to someone. Whether you're looking for help or just a friend to talk to, call any of the hotlines listed in the description below. No matter how stressed or alone you feel, remember that help is just a phone call away. Now, let's get back to the video. One, they're physically violent. Have your parents ever been physically violent with you? If a parent uses any kind of physical violence, they're abusive. Many abusive parents make excuses for their physical violence, but according to the US Department of Health and Human Services, there is never a good reason to physically abuse a child. If this is happening in your family, you have an abusive parent. Two, they're verbally abusive. Verbal abuse can be a tricky thing to identify. Many kids don't realize their parents are even being abusive, but personal attacks, criticisms, and other wounding comments are a common form of emotional abuse. Verbal attacks may never leave physical scars, but aggressive and deflating comments can damage a child emotionally. After years of verbal abuse, many children struggle to rebuild their confidence and self-esteem. Verbal aggression from a parent is child abuse, no matter how you slice it. Three. They get excessively angry. How often does your parent get angry? Do they raise their voice on a regular basis? Excessive anger is a common sign of both emotional and physical abuse. Parents who explode and fly off the handle tend to lose control. In the midst of their anger, they may lash out at their children. Even if they apologize afterwards, parents who lose their tempers and hurt their children are abusive. Four, they make you compete for love. Do your parents withhold their love? Do you have to go out of your way just to get their attention? Abusive parents will treat love like a tool. They love you when you're doing what they want, but when you do anything else, that love disappears. Abusive parents use their love to manipulate and control you. But parents should love and support their kids no matter what. In a healthy parent-child relationship, love is a basic assumption. If your parents make you compete for their love or attention, they may be abusive. Five. They neglect responsibility. Do your parents ignore you? Many abusive parents show little interest in their children. They don't know where their kids are or what they're doing, and they usually don't care. Abusive parents pay attention to their kids only when their kids are causing them trouble. Otherwise, abusive parents remain distant and oblivious. Six, they isolate you from others. Do your parents isolate you from other members? Do they lie to keep you under their thumb? Isolation is a form of emotional abuse. Parents will limit their child's ability to escape from painful situations or stand in the way of their happiness or success. Seven, they abuse drugs or alcohol. According to the US Department of Health and Human Services, abusing drugs and alcohol is a common sign of parental violence. Not only do these substances distort the brain, but they're commonly associated with destructive and neglectful lifestyle choices. Substances influence decision-making, impair judgment, and alter a person's mood. All of those factors can lead to dangerous or abusive interactions between a parent and child. And eight, they threaten your well-being. Does your parent threaten to hurt or disrupt your daily life? Many abusive parents, before using physical violence, threaten their children. The possibility of violence will still intimidate or emotionally damage a child. Threats of any kind are unacceptable from a parent. Children should feel safe and comfortable in their homes. When abusive parents make threats, they're teaching their kid to be afraid of their own family. Have you or someone you know dealt with abusive parents? If you can relate to this video, always know that you're not alone and there is always someone to talk to and someone who can help. If you found this video helpful, share it with someone who might benefit from it. Click the like button and subscribe for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching.